I'm Rachel Tinker of RT Wellness and I've designed a fantastic 10 minute power workout series that will get your heart rate pumping and give you an all over body workout. Each episode we're going to be doing five exercises three times through. So let's begin. Come down into our mountain climber position. In a push up position we're just going to bring the knees in. That's great. Keep on going. And obviously you can pick up the pace if you want. Otherwise just keep it here. Let's get those legs working. We're gonna be really working out your arms today and your legs. So let's warm up those shoulders and warm up those legs. Keep on going. Just over 30 seconds, 30 seconds to go. Doing great. Keep on going. 10 more seconds. Okay, five, four, three, two, and one. Fantastic. We're gonna come down onto our hands and knees. And we're gonna do some glute kickbacks. Here we go, let's lift the leg in the air. And back it goes. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Switch legs. One, two, three. Now, if you want to, you can put the legs straight out. Work that bum a little bit more. Nine and ten. Fantastic. We're now going to get into our side plank position. Lay on one side. Knees out, elbow under the shoulder, and we're just gonna raise up. And we're just gonna hold it here. And let's hold for 30. Come on, keep on holding. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, come on, 11, 10, 9, should be feeling it all the way through here. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Great job, let's switch sides. Here we go in 30 seconds. And let's go. 30, 29, 28, 27. 25. Work those side obliques. Keep on breathing. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. We're going to get back up on our feet. We're going to grab some form of weights. We're going to do some lateral and front raises. Arms out by the side, palm of the hands facing your thighs, and out we go. And 1. Knees slightly bent. 2. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's bring it in front. One, two, three, four. Great job, guys. Five, six. Keep those arms nice and straight. Eight, nine, and ten. Now let's do our dumbbell work. We're going to bring our arms from the side and we're going to rotate up at the top. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's do hammer curls straight up. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Bend over slightly and let's do some rows. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And finally, let's put our arms together. We're going to do some kickbacks. One, two, work those triceps. Three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Let's go down into our mountain climber set number two. All right, let's pick up the pace. One, come on. Nice and light on those toes. If you need to, just keep it very slow and steady. You're doing great. Keep on going. We're gonna get ready to come down onto our hands and knees. And we're gonna be doing our uh, leg raises. Okay, here we go. So like I said, either knee bent and up, or let's put the leg out. Let's try that. Work those bums. Eight, nine, and 10. The other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Onto the side. Let's do our side planks. 30 second hold. You're doing great. Keep breathing. 20 seconds. Keep on breathing. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and switch to the other side. Here we go. Keep on holding. And 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10 more, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one, and down. Back on our feet. Grab those weights. Let's do our lateral and front raises. Here we go. Knees bent. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Out in front. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Drop those weights. Last set of mountain climbers. Let's go. Come on, pick up the pace. Keep it going, keep it going. You can do it. Come on, a little bit faster. You're doing great. Let's do ten more seconds. And ten, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and rest down on our knees and hands. Let's do it. Let's get those bums nice and tight. Now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. On the other leg. And obviously the higher you do it, the firmer those bums are going to be. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Great. Onto side plank. 30 second hold. Come on, we've got two minutes left. Dig deep. Keep on going. You're doing great. Keep breathing. Keep smiling. Okay, 15 more seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and on the other side. Here we go. Keep holding. We're nearly done. All right, and we're here. In 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And back on our feet, last time for our lateral and front raises. Here we go. 1, 2, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring it in front. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Dumbbell workout. Dumbbell workout. Here we go. Five. Let's do hot hammer curls. One, two, three, four, and five. Bend over rows. One, two, three, four, and five. And last exercise. One, two, three, four, and hold on five. Hold on five. Let those triceps burn out. Hold, hold, hold. Keep on holding. Go on, you can do it. Hold and release. Great work guys, you did a fantastic job today. Join me next time. Subscribe for free to my RT Wellness YouTube channel. If this exercise wasn't challenging you enough, then click on my intermediate or advanced levels. I'll see you next time. And remember everyone, live life to the fullest. Okay, we're gonna come into some ice skaters. So we can either just do side stepping or if you want, try and bring that leg behind as if you're a, a speed skater. Let's keep it going. You choose, either here or bring that leg behind. You're doing great. Keep it going. That is 30 seconds down, 30 more seconds to go. Keep going. And we're going to be moving on to some squats next. So we're really going to be working those legs. Keep it going. You're doing great. 10 more seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Great. Let's get into squat position. Nice wide stance, just slightly larger than hip width. And down we go. We can either be here, nice deep squat, and back up again. If you want, just keep the arms relaxed. Make sure that, uh, or out here, you can put the arms out here either. Whatever feels good for you. Just make sure that your posture is good. You're not bowing out. You're not bowing this way. Just a nice flat back and a nice deep squat. Let's really work those legs. Keep it going, you're doing really great. Let's get warmed up. 10 more seconds. Five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and last one. Great, let's bring it down onto our mat. I'm gonna do some leg Raise this for our abs. So you can support yourself under the back if you need to. Otherwise, just have your arms down by the side for support. Tuck them in. And here we go. Legs are coming up. And back down again. That is one. And two. And three. Let's try for 10. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and last one, and that is ten. Fantastic, let's keep it moving. We're going to be doing some bent over flies. Grab your weights, whatever they may be. You want to do a nice bent over position, arms to your side, and we're just going to be working that back. Just really squeeze those back muscles together. Four, five, six, seven, come on, squeeze. Eight, nine, ten. Ten more. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And now with our weight, I'm going to bring one arm up here. And we're just going to go over to side dips. Two, work those obliques. Three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, and 10. Let's switch sides. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and last one, 10. Okay, let's drop our weights. Second set, ice skaters. Let's go, let's bring up the pace. We should be feeling a little bit warm by now. Swing those arms, let's get the arm workout in as well. Keep it going. Keep on smiling. Come on, we should be having fun. Exercise should be fun. Let's get active, let's get healthy. That's what we want. Get ourselves up off the couch or after a long day of work, let's just do a 10 minute power workout. Sometimes that is all you need just to get that heart rate up, work our muscles and keep us feeling fit and active. Keep on going. This is great. And if you're not finding this challenging enough, then you can always click on my intermediate or advanced levels. Same workout, just at a slightly more advanced level. Keep it going. Keep on breathing. Really important to keep breathing. Okay, in 10 more seconds. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and last one. Into squat position, and let's go. Down into a nice deep squat, and back up. And you're gonna want your toes to be slightly outwards. Keep the knees in line with the toes, not going too far over, almost as if you're just sitting back into a chair. That's exactly the posture that we want. Keep breathing. Those legs should be starting to fire. You should start to feel it, start to get a little bit warmed up now. Keep on breathing. Okay, in 10 more seconds, we're gonna bring it down onto the floor. Keep on going. Okay, five seconds. Four, two, and let's bring it onto the mat for our second set of leg raises. All right, let's do this. Support yourself, and up we go for 10. One, two, three. If you're finding this difficult, bring the knees in slightly. And that is 10, fantastic. Grab your weights again. Okay, here we go, bent over flies. And one, two, three, really work those back muscles. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. 10 more, 10, nine, keep going. Eight, seven, let's pick up the pace. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Keep our weight here, and here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. On the other side, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, last set, guys. Drop our weight. Let's do our speed skaters. By now, if you can, maybe just a little hop. Let's just really warm up that body. Arms up if you want. Keep it going, you're doing such a great job. Okay, and we're gonna be bringing it into squats. And let's really get them good squats. Let's go nice and deep on that. Okay, here we go. We're gonna come down in 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, into a nice deep squat. Let's do it, 10, nine, eight, seven, come on, six, five, four, 
three, two, and last one. Down onto the mat and leg raises. It's gonna work your lower abdominal area. One, two, three, four, five, or here, six, seven, eight, nine, and last one, 10. Great job. Let's work those backs. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come on, last ten seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And that is your 10 minute power workout at beginner level. Like I said, either upgrade now to the intermediate or advanced levels if you want to challenge yourself. Otherwise, you can join me next time. Thanks for tuning in today. Subscribe for free to my RT Wellness YouTube channel. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram, RT Wellness, and I'll see you next time. Remember everyone, live life to the fullest. Let's come down onto our mat. We're gonna get onto our hands and knees. And we're gonna push up into yoga position, downward dog. You want your feet to be around hip width apart and your weight distributed evenly between the hands and the feet. And you really wanna just try to push those heels down as far as you can towards the mat to get a really nice stretch all the way up the back of the legs. And then really just stretch into those shoulders. And just get a nice stretch coming all through the back, down through the shoulders, and all the way down to the hands. And we're just gonna sit here just for a moment, taking a deep breath. And exhale. And one more deep breath. And then from here, we're gonna go into a low lunge to stretch out those hips. So you can either come through plank and then bring in the knee and plant, or when you're here, you can just bring the knees down back onto your knees and hands, and then transfer the weight and bring your foot forward into a nice low lunge stretching all through that hip area. Make sure that the other leg, your knee, is not too far over the toes and it's in a nice alignment. And we're just gonna sit and stretch here. If you wish, you can tuck under the toes and lift up to also stretch out that calf. And for a deeper stretch, we can actually go down onto the elbows Create a nice deep stretch all the way through that hip, up into the other hip, and really stretching out that groin area. And don't forget to breathe. Really take this time for yourself to relax, to stretch out all of those muscles. To refocus yourself, recenter yourself. And of course, we're gonna be doing the same on the other side. So here, we can either just push the leg back and then transfer or come back down to the knees, switch legs, and once again, either we stretch here, we go up onto the toes, or we come down onto the elbows. Now from here, we're just simply gonna do now a straight leg stretch. So right now we want to just bring our toes slightly further forward, stretch out the back leg and stretch the front leg out. Now obviously flexibility here, 
Those of us who are more flexible can really get that stretch. The object is to really try and stretch this leg. If you need to knee, uh, bend the knee slightly, that's fine, but just try to really get that nice stretch all the way up the back of the leg through the hamstrings, the calves. And again, keep breathing. And you wanna hold each stretch for at least 10 seconds. The longer, the better. And of course, we do the same on the other foot. So here, we can either come here, switch out our feet, or go back down to our hands and knees. And we're gonna do the same. We're just gonna stretch and really just give ourselves a good stretch all the way through that back of that leg. <sighs> Once we feel we have a real good stretch, we're just gonna bring the legs back into downward dog. Give ourselves one more stretch here. Drop down onto the knees and tuck the toes under and just fall back onto the heels. This is called yoga child pose. And this is a nice stretch just to let the mind rest and let everything just fall into gravity, fall into the ground. And now from here, we're gonna follow through onto the elbows and then push up, stretch out that lower back and the abdominals. And this is actually called Cobra Pose in yoga. But it's a fantastic stretch for an area that doesn't normally get stretched. Now, if you want to, this is quite an advanced move, but here we can actually bring the knee forward at a slight angle and sit back to really give those hip rotators a stretch. This is called pigeon pose. And it is quite an advanced move. You need to be quite flexible to be able to do this one. You wanna keep your hips facing forward and you're really gonna be stretching that hip rotator and all the way down here and you can just really sit back into that. And of course there are more advancements that you can do, which I'll show you at another time. But I just wanna give you all an idea of a really good stretching workout that you can do at home or at the end of a long day, just to stretch all the muscles in the body. Right, so from here, we're gonna come back onto our knees, back into child's pose. And then we're gonna just roll over onto our backs. Just have a nice stretch out. Really stretch, try and reach those toes as far as you can, reach those fingertips as far as you can out. And relax. And we're gonna bring the knees up. And we're now gonna stretch out your glutes, your bum area here. We're gonna cross the one leg over so that the ankle is on the other knee. We're just gonna lift that knee towards us. You can use your hands behind the knee to just bring that leg towards you. Relax the neck, relax the head, and just feel that stretch all the way through your glutes around here. Now an advancement of this, you can actually cross at the knees, grab the outsides of the feet and pull towards you. And this will give you a deeper stretch. And 
of course we do the same on the other side. And the other variation is just in here. And we can do that with either a flexed foot or just let it relax. Now while we're laying on our backs, let's just take our knees, let them just drop outwards. Just stretch out that inner groin, that inner thigh area. Really just stretch those hips and just relax here. Now at this point, we're gonna just gently and slowly roll up to a seated position. We're going to put our soles of our feet together. And again, just gently push down on the knees to give yourself a nice stretch. And then we're gonna put the feet flat on the floor. We're gonna transfer the weight using our arms over the toes. We're gonna place our hands on the, on the mat back just for a moment. So here, place our hands on the mat in a crouched position. And here we're just going to dip the head down and raise up our hips into a nice stretch of the back of the legs. Let everything just hang nice and loose. No tension in the shoulders, in the arms, no tension in the head. Just keep everything really loose. And just feel that stretch all down the back of the legs, all the way down to those ankles. If you are more flexible, you can obviously grab the ankles, pull yourself in. If you need to, you could use a, a yoga block or something here to support yourself so that if you can't touch the ground, you can hold something here. Just make sure that you're keeping everything nice and loose. And then once you've felt that stretch, just slight bend of the knees. And we're gonna come up real slow. The whole purpose of this is real slow. Just putting yourself back together and roll the shoulders. And the last thing to come up is the head. And then when we're here, we're just gonna do a couple of circles of the arms. And now we're gonna stretch out those arms. So we're gonna bring one arm up Grab at the elbow, tuck it behind your head like this. And we're just gonna pull slightly back on it just to give yourself a stretch all the way through here. And just enjoy that stretch. And we'll do the same on the other side. So at the elbow, bring the hand between the shoulder blades and just pull down. I'm gonna bring the arm across the chest. Just slight push at the elbow. And nice stretch across the chest. Remember to keep breathing. And the other way. Rotate those arms one more time. Bring it into our legs. Really stretch it out. And that is your stretch for the day.